Okay, so today I'm starting another video and have a little something new and a little something different to show you. We kind of wrapped up that Santa carving series a while back, at least temporarily, at least until maybe I can get back around to doing a little bit more. But what I want to start showing you today is another thing that I make, and that is these little stuffed animals that I make out of old pairs of jeans. And sometimes I take the old denim and I mix in felt with them. Among one of the first things I've ever made, this is not the first one I've ever made. I probably made this particular one more recently. But I started making dolphins and whales before I made anything else. This right here is a whale that kind of came off of the dolphin pattern. I don't have any dolphins left to show. They've already been sold or given as gifts. And this right now is the only whale that I have. But it was among, those were like the first two patterns I ever drew out of my own. And made little carvings based on or little sewings based on and cut them out and I mean the patterns just got a little bit more advanced the further I went and as work went on there kind of got to be more other things that I made more other things I can show like right now I don't have any any seals with me but that was one thing I made I've got a seal over at McLeod's which is a place where a lot of my work is now among the next things I ever made were these walruses you can see that I have taken all the different colors of jeans to make these walruses out of them and for their muzzles and their tusks and their undersides and their top sides I've had different ones I've made over the years. A lot of them have gone out as gifts or been sold or whatever. So that's kind of the, these are the two I still have. It may be a while before I consider making some more of those because they can be a lot of work and then they don't sell for the amount of work I put into them. There's probably a few others that are going to come around in some later videos, and I've got a couple that I mixed some leather in with, and there will come a time when those are put away in boxes. I don't have them out right now where I can show them, but give me a moment and I'll show another thing I've made here. This is a mother possum with her three babies on her back. I've decided to keep this one for myself because I also made one out of black denim that had like blue undersides and all. And like you can see here that black felt was used to make the tail and for the tails on these. And so for the way some of that stuff has turned out, one of those went out as a gift to a friend and I kept this one as a memorial, but these can be a terrible lot of work to make. So knowing what I couldn't charge for them and knowing what prices people wouldn't pay, I just didn't make very many of these. And probably one of the next things to come in that series might be the fact that I have made some peacocks. I have a couple of other peacocks away in a box somewhere, but this is the one I made that has all the neon colors in it. I have made several other peacocks as well, but there's been one that's been sold and one that's been reserved to be sold. And there's probably been, I'd say, two others that have been on Etsy or wait a minute I've also got this one this is the one I painted in like the watermelon colors so 
it's kind of one that is of value as well. You can kind of see with these that I have mixed felt in with the denim to make them. What I'd like to also come to show is the fact that over a certain amount of time, I have made some elephants. You can see this one has dark blue and light blue in its denim, and this one has black and dark blue in it, like for the insides of its ears and its underside. And so these are kind of some of the ones I made the old way where I kind of cut a slit underneath and for the stuff ho hole in, sold it closed. And then there's ones like this that are among the ones I made more recently. And as a matter of fact, or this one probably wasn't one of the most recent ones I've made. I've got some over here that were. I'll bring them out and show in a little bit. But this was also one of them. And I will say that I got the original pattern online, but I had to change the pattern around a little bit in order to use it for the denim. The original one wasn't originally designed for denim. But now I come to show these ones, which are a little bit bigger. They have their legs spread a little wider. They're kind of sewn at the seams on the sides of their abdomens. And I actually have some ones like those over at McLeod's Coffee Shop that are up there to be sold. I'd also like to share that there's been a few more things I've made over the years, like I've made several pigs like these. This is probably one that goes back to 2018. It's the only pig that I have still here at home. I have several of them at McLeod's Coffee Shop that are up there to be sold. and. Speaking of that, we'll just kind of go over here some other stuff that's at McLeod's. I will go ahead and introduce you to some monkeys that I have made. I have kind of taken the elephant pattern and translated the trunk into a tail to make these monkeys and use the different colors of denim for them. I drew out the pattern myself. That was how I came up with the design. There's a couple of monkeys over at McLeod's as well. They're kind of up to be sold. I'd like to show some things that I have taken to a few of my shows, like these two roosters I made here. They're both made of blue denim, but this one kind of has a red felt head and a black felt beak. This one has a black felt head and a yellow felt beak. So these have been on Etsy before, but for certain reasons, I kind of took them down. Right now, however, the shop is closed because I don't think I'd be able to handle it this holiday season for a lot of reasons. I mean, going starting in October, gas prices are... I mean, gas prices have already been up, but that is the reason why shipping costs are going to go up. So I don't think I'd be able to handle the shipping costs unless I had to charge more for my stuff. And right now, this would be my first holiday season having an Etsy store open. And it would be hard for me to really run my first holiday season that way with shipping prices up as high as they are. So... That'll be a different story and for a different time. When I was working on this particular rooster, there were a few errors. When, it, when I was trying to put in a little bit of paint for its eye, I picked it up by accident thinking it was dry and ended up smearing the paint of the eye around on the head. So I had to use a little red paint to cover for that, make it a special rooster that just kind of has a little bit of a bigger eye and a little bit more rough skin around its head like a rooster usually has and kind of use the red paint here to 
cover for that and kind of make it in what I think is a good rooster design for what it is. And I'd also like to show this turkey that I've made. This was my big turkey, the one that I made from the big version of the pattern that I made. It came out to where, first of all, I'd like to say that this place on its neck did not get completely sewn. So I sort of had to put the project aside and kind of keep this one just for my example and for my decoration. The tail didn't come out as good because I probably didn't know what I had to do to make the tail just stay up rather than stick out like this. So it kind of goes back a little bit. Probably something like what a turkey vulture has or something like that, maybe. And getting back to the roosters and the turkeys, I made this little one here and this little turkey here. And I kind of shrunk the pattern a little bit to kind of make the head all one piece on each of these so they could all be done from one piece of felt and made the back of the tail a little different on the turkey where I just sewed around here and stuffed it around here. One of my next tr tricks I'm going to try when I make a future one is to try to use put some quilt batting in the tail and try to make it stand up a little bit better but before that I'm going to have to get a chance to practice hand sewing some quilt batting into some scrap pieces of fabric to try to get my practice at that see how it's going to do I've heard it can be hard enough to do on a sewing machine and I don't use sewing machines so I've heard it could be even harder to try to sew by hand I don't know yet because I haven't tried it I have yet to do that, and as soon as I can, I will. One thing I'd like to show is these two kitty cats I made. I have also made a raccoon, which are like these, where there's a head facing the left and a head facing the right. And that is something which soon I'm kind of working on those right now. Don't know how they're going to turn out. Just have to experiment with them, especially with when I go to making their tails and all. So that's how that's going to go. And the cat was actually a translation off the monkey pattern, where I used most of the same shape as I did for the monkey pattern, except for changing the heads and the faces a little bit. The raccoon pattern is a translation off this cat. So that's one of the next things I will have to show and what I'd finally like to show now is I am working on some more opossums but this is kind of like the little opossum pattern you saw the big possum while ago but this is kind of one that's kind of medium size not as big as that one not as little as those babies and Kind of where I decided that since a possum is kind of a dirty, ragged creature, use some of the same stained denim that I used for the pigs to make those. That was what I forgot to mention about the pigs while ago is, is that I made them from jeans that have stains on them so that they kind of look like dirty pigs, like pigs that have been in the mud or something. And kind of did that with the possums as well, made them from the same denim, so they might look like possums that have been in trash or something like that. There's just a little more to share. I will say that there has been some stuff that's been going on at my work lately. I'll tell you about that in a future video, but I'd say that hopefully if maybe a few, few things probably show up in the back, I can grab them. Don't know how quick it will be. But thankfully, I think I have finally found some of the last things I might need to show. This is a mother sow feeding her piglets. It's kind of interesting here because pigs actually lay on their sides to feed their piglets. They don't do it standing up. I just kind of thought this was the best I could do and I kind of made this from some of that same stained denim 
that I use for all the little pigs. There's a duck-billed platypus here. I'd say probably before I, after making the walruses and before making the peacocks, I made this platypus here. I used some imitation leather to make its beak and its tail and its little feet here. There's a couple of other wild pigs I have I'd like to show, but I think I'll have to look back here to see if they're going to turn up. Well, they didn't, but sure enough, a couple more peacocks did, and these were like the first two peacocks I ever made. These were on Etsy for a while, but I took them down because they just weren't getting sold. Maybe I'd say that around here somewhere, I might be able to find a couple of wild pigs. And finally, I did. I've got a wild boar here that I made. It's kind of made mostly from denim, but I made its little nose from imitation leather, made its hooves from imitation leather, and made its teeth from felt. This was one of the pieces that might have been the most work probably about as much as the big mother possum and her babies. And I also have this warthog to show that I made. It was also like made mostly from denim and I didn't have to use any felt for the teeth because the teeth were so big I could use white denim to make them. And like with the wild boar, I made its little hooves out of imitation leather. So, that's pretty much what I have to show for today. I will hopefully maybe have a video out soon where I can show and demonstrate how I sew some of this stuff. It'll be a lot to show, a lot to see, and it'll be real exciting whenever I can get around to putting it up and showing how I do it and what I can do. But. Hopefully you enjoyed watching. Goodbye.